Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels or if you're watching my um, lifestyle channel Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle um, Hi, my name's Rebecca if you're new here to my channel I love talking about travel and uh, lifestyle Today the weather um, in the um, the Midlands, um, North West Leicestershire has been um, sunny and cloudy um, but um, it hasn't uh, been raining today so generally good weather for this time of year um, if, you're, if you could please subscribe to my channel I'd be really grateful I upload five times a week on both my travel and my lifestyle channel and thank you for doing that um, Today's uh, vlog is going to be 10 fantastic budget travel facts at September 2022, part three. So uh, number one um, is from uh, lonelyplanet.com, uh, trip planning mode, activate uh, from beaches to budget destinations, kayaks, annual travel hacker guide uh, looks at millions of searches. Um, to pinpoint trending destinations in the past uh, new year number two is also from uh, lonelyplanet.com uh, the secret to getting the best air fire fair sky scanner has released a guide and um, best value holidays and um, offering something different um and um, a little more avoidable uh, affordable than uh, usual number four lonelyplanet.com also recommends uh at stay on a budget when you are to stay on a budget when you're traveling by keeping a budget diary which is a really good idea um at uh, 12 operating con well, just a budget uh, diary in general uh, to help with your holiday and how much uh, you can afford to spend on your holiday without going over, which is a really good advice. Um, number five, uh, HTTPS. Um, dot uh, slash news at sky sky.com athens has been named the best um city break on a budget the total bill for a person's week uh, or with their likes of meals and hotel accommodation or, or total holiday cost um and local transport fare um includes was just £207, well, compared to £208 to Lisbon, Portugal, which came se in second place. Um, the low price, such low price for Athens includes um, a £38.96 for um, an evening for two um, with wine and um, £89 uh, for two nights accommodation in a three-star hotel and um, £7.79 uh, for a 48-hour public transport pa pass. Um, again, um, booking a, a public transport pa pass is especially ideal if you're going to um, a city or um in the world um if you can um because it's a lot cheaper for you um number six um at the same night uh, at sight um is how to keep your group stay in london affordable well there's quite a few options on www.london. AC.UK avoid weekends. Um, weekends are peak travel time for 
uh, tourists. Um, so again, to travel in the week and off peak also on the same website, um, you can save um, money with budget flights uh, to London and um, traveling uh, for um, the United Kingdom and other countries on Skyscanner, Kayak and Travel Supermarket. And um, on the same website, www.london.ack, um, you can get to or go to free uh, free museums um, uh, and um, basically the free, free museums so uh, you're literally spoiled for choice um, in London and um, there are also great options um, also for entertaining large groups of people whether it's schools or friends or families and also single people couples and um, it doesn't really matter what size your family but families in general and um, these include the British Museum, the Natural History Museum, the Science Museum. I really recommend the Science Museum. I've been there twice um, when I was um, a child and I really enjoyed it and um, the National um, Marine Time Museum is uh, free to go and also uh, Victoria and Albert Museum, Royal Air Force Museum, the British Library and at VA Museum of Childhood and that also or the more few uh, free museums in London but again um you need to check with the museum again before you go and um also some museums offer discounts uh, for um elderly or disabled people and um, etc and also for groups of people um some museums that you do have to pay for if you book in a large group, then you can get discounts. Um, and number nine, on the same website, you can visit beautiful parts in central London for free. Crystal Palace, uh, check out for some, some amazing dinosaurs amongst the undergrowth. Uh, there's also Victoria Park and Hampstead Heath. Um, for more uh, parks um, in London, check out Royal Parks website or the Royal Parks website. Now, last but not least um, is um, number 10, uh, the last fact on the same website, um, London's best markets to visit, um, ideal for bargain hunting or uh, sampling local uh, food street cuisine, Bloomsbury Farmers Market on Thursday 10am till 2pm, um, Portobello's Market with antiques and local food, Camden Market, arts, crafts, um, uh, clothes um, etc, um, the Spitfields, um, furniture and antiques, clothes, books. Then there's Borough Market with local uh, food. So that's really exciting um, to know. And again, it, it doesn't matter what whatever size your group, um, you can uh, go around those markets um, for completely free. And obviously you just buy what you want to buy. Um, so I would like to say thank you for watching and um, I would like and I will see you tomorrow for another video and thank you and bye for now. Thank you. Bye.